Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea, for those of you who are new here. And in tonight's episode, we are going to be cooking cheesy kielbasa sausage. And all you're going to need for this is some noodles. I'm using bow ties as usual. An onion, chopped. I'm using two packs of kielbasa sausage. But you could probably just use one if that's all you got. And I'm going to put some minced garlic in this. It doesn't call for it. But I'm going to add it anyways. And I got some cheddar jack cheese. And some chicken broth. So let's get into it. Alright you guys. So I'm going to start by putting... The sausage and the onion and the skillet. I'm gonna let that preheat for a second. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna start off by putting my kielbasa sausage and my onion and my skillet, and I'm gonna cook it until it is lightly browned. So since I'm going to have to do this uh, like two times because I don't think there's enough room in here to get it all fully browned right. So I'm just going to add half the onion with that one and then I'm going to cut this one up to cook with the next batch. Pretty. And I think somebody told me that this spatula was for fish, but this is the one I'm using for this. And it does a really good job of scooping them up. smells super good you guys so i actually had a different recipe i was wanting to try with this kibosa sausage but i didn't have some of the things that i needed for it so this is just stuff that i keep around the house and we're all about to starve to death so <laughs> i just kind of you know looked up a recipe that had everything that i had in it or that had everything in it that I already had here at the house. So, this is what I found. So if any of you all have a recipe with this kind of sausage or smoked sausage, I kind of use them interchangeably. I don't normally buy smoked sausage because I like the flavor of this, but I think that they're all basically the same. I know some of y'all are like, no, they're two totally different sausages, but it's okay <laughs> because it doesn't really make a difference here. <laughs> But if anybody has any recipes that they'd like to share with me with this, because this is the first time I've ever used this without um, cabbage, because I normally put it in my cabbage when I boil that. So I am definitely open to any other recipes involving this. And I couldn't find any in my recipe book, so. Alright, 
let's see what is next. And it says add chicken broth, milk. Oh, I didn't tell y'all you needed milk too. You're going to need some milk with this. Um, but it says add chicken broth, milk, salt, pepper, and pasta. And I think I'm going to put the garlic in with this while it's cooking. I don't know about it. Caleb said to add it. So hopefully that turns out right. If not, I'll definitely let y'all know if you should or should not add the garlic. But we like garlic, so we'll probably like it. Hopefully. Does it smell good? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope you like it. We'll see. Wyatt usually picks the sausage out of the cabbage when I make it, but what can you do? I mean, you can, it's hard to please six people. So usually somebody doesn't like something that I cook. Two cups of chicken broth and a half a cup of milk. So. Salt and pepper. I'm not gonna add a lot of salt because I think the sausage is pretty salty, so I'll add some pepper to it though, even though I don't like it. And then I'm gonna add half of this box of pasta. So I'm going to bring that to a boil and then I'm going to let it simmer for 15 minutes or until this is cooked, the pasta is cooked. I'm thinking about getting my other skillet out just uh, so I can go ahead and cook that. Too. Okay, so that's boiling now. I'm going to turn that back down on low and stir it up real quick. clock won't stay correct because I'm always hitting it, so I'm going to just set a timer so I don't forget about it for 15 minutes. And while that's cooking, I wanted to show you all some things that I got in the mail from some of you guys. And so there was only one note with it, I believe. 
And that was from Miss Linda. And I'm pretty sure she sent this little ceramic spoon rest. That's just a note from the store. But it's a little rest. So thank you, Miss Linda. If you are the one that sent this, the letter, I had my boxes all messed up, so I'm pretty sure that's the one that went with that. I'm gonna set that right there and I'm gonna use it right now for my little spatula rest. And then I also got, I just had it, where did it go? I also got this. I'm pretty sure it was in my last video. Or maybe it was one when I was cooking breakfast with Silas. But somebody sent me a whisk. And I don't really know what that is. So if y'all know what that is, let me know what that is. Because I don't know. Let's see. A little mini whisk. Oh, the kids will love that. <laughs> and then, one more thing. Oh, it's a bigger whisk. Oh, so there's three different size whisks in there. Wait, maybe that's a no. No. I don't know who sent that one. But thank you guys so, so much. The kids will definitely love these. They'll like using those. One for the twins to use, because it's a little mini one, and then one for Wyatt and Carson to use, and then one for me and Caleb to use. <laughs> and then I really have no idea what that is. It looks like a stirrer, maybe? Like a coffee stirrer? Is that right? I don't know, y'all let me know. Y'all are the, um, Y'all are the ones to ask because it seems like somebody always knows something. And then I've got one more thing that I want to show you guys. And I absolutely love them. I know y'all probably have realized from um, whenever I make casseroles and stuff, I only use one dish really. And that's because it's really the only one I have. I have one more, but it's a really smaller one. But somebody sent me a whole set of casserole dishes. And let me show y'all those real quick. Okay, so I haven't got to wash them yet. So they still got some of those little styrofoam pieces on it. But I wanted to show you guys real quick. Look, they got little bumblebees on them. And like the honeycomb shape around all the way around it. Isn't that just beautiful? And it's got a little bee in the middle of it. And I love that it's got handles on it as well. That is super neat. So this actually came in a set of three, but this one looks like it would be good to make like a little loaf of banana bread or something. I love banana bread. But look at that. That is just so cute. I'm gonna have to set those out on my hutch. They're so beautiful. I just love them. So I didn't see a note in there. But whoever sent these, if y'all are watching these other videos, y'all comment and let me know who sent them so we can give y'all a shout out too in the next video. But y'all, thank you so, so much. We appreciate it so much. Y'all have no idea. I can't even begin to express how thankful we are for you all. Especially since I started doing these cooking videos and... We had a whole set of pans sent to us, and it is just blowing my mind, y'all. Never in a million years did I think that I would be cooking. When my first, when my sister first mentioned me making a YouTube channel, I was like, who in the world would want to watch me? <laughs> or, you know, my family, like, we're just the average you know, chaotic family in Kentucky. So I'm like, who in the world would want to watch this chaos? <laughs> but, you know, y'all have stood by us for at least over a year now. And it's just crazy. And to the new people who just showed up, 
Welcome to the chaos. But we are so appreciative of each and every one of y'all. Even if, you know, you haven't ever sent anything or anything like that, just watching our videos really, really, really helps us out. So, I'm going to be completely real with y'all. Last month, so with all the cooking videos I made for um, August, for August, I get paid a month ahead of time, or a month late, yeah. So, for September, or I mean for August, I'll get paid in September. And so, I made $316, I believe, off of my la off of all the cooking videos that I've done in August. So, that really helps us with groceries for, for September. Or actually, for it'll be for October because I'll get paid at the end of September for last month. So, that'll help us with October's groceries. And so I can make more cooking videos for you all too. So it really is just a big old circle. <laughs> but hopefully, you know, the videos will kick off. And because right now I think they're getting like 2,000, 2 to 3,000 views per video. So, you know, if y'all want to share them or whatever, keep them playing, let the ads play through. That helps us so, 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 so much. And, yeah. But, I just wanted to let y'all know how much y'all are, how much y'all are helping us financially just by watching the videos. You don't have to send us anything at all. Please do not ever feel like y'all need to send us anything. We are making it. We have made it for the past 10 years without anybody sending us anything. But know that those of you who do send us stuff, we are very appreciative of it. And it does not go unnoticed. And I will give a shout out to whoever does send us whatever. But, anyways. Still got seven minutes. I don't know why I uncovered that. Told y'all, I cannot multitask. But, I'm so excited to make another casserole so I can use my new casserole dishes. And now I want to use something, I want to make some eggs or something to use these. I'm going to have to get me a crock or something to put these utensils in. I had a Pioneer Woman utensil holder, but I don't know where it's at. I don't think I ever brought it over from the trailer, so I don't know where that's at. I'm going to put this over there with my coffee maker. I don't know what that, I don't know if that's what it's for, but that's what I'm going to use it for. I mean, I don't really know what else it could be used for, but it looks like a good stir to me. So I also wanted to give a quick shout out to whoever sent me these gorgeous bowls. I'm pretty sure it matches the my plates and bowls set that I have from Pioneer Woman. But they are so cute. I think this one is my favorite pattern. But they are so cute. And I have no idea who sent them. So again, if you sent me these, let me know in the comments so I can give you all a shout out. But look how gorgeous these are. It's a set of five. So thank you to whoever sent these to us. We really appreciate it. So somebody actually sent the kids this cute little dinosaur game. But it's not the only gift they got this week in the mail. So stay tuned for the end of the video to see what else they got. Oh, also, while I've got y'all, y'all's attention, um, so... As usual, I fell short in getting the pantry done in August, like I told y'all we were going to try to do. But other things came up, and we just, we did get all the bead board put up that we're going to put up in there. So, the whole wall is full of bead board, but that is literally as far as we got. I still have not painted it. We haven't got the shelves put up in there. 
We still gotta buy the shelf, so that's kind of what we're waiting on because that's gonna be a good chunk of money right there. Um, but what we did get accomplished over Labor Day weekend, which by the way, I hope you all had a lovely weekend with your families and enjoyed every minute of it. Caleb was busy the entire weekend. We got the old building moved that was on that side of the house in between the house and the trailer. We got it moved to this side so that way it kind of blocks the neighbors over there. Not that we don't like our neighbors, but we like privacy, especially on the back porch. <laughs> so, you know, that kind of covers that area so they can't see over here and we can't see over there. But we got that moved over there and then Caleb actually got the other building tore down if y'all have been watching me since like the very first video i mentioned we were going to tear that building down we got it tore down this weekend and there was all kinds of black snakes in there i know they're just black snakes but i don't like any kind of snakes but anyways he actually had to tie a rope around something in the building and pull it with his truck to pull it out or to to make it fall down. <laughs> he had to use his truck to pull it and it all fell down then. He, there was a lean-to on the back of it which we, where we put our lawn mowers and stuff. He's gonna build another lean-to on this building up here beside the house to park the lawn mower under. But he had to tear the lean-to down first and then he done that while I was gone but, but it, right now it's just laying in the yard of the whole building so we've got to clean that up and then we've got to break up the concrete because it was it did have a concrete floor so we still got to clean all that up as well okay so it's been 15 minutes but the pasta is not completely done with this one yet I went ahead and started this because it's getting late and I ain't got time for that to finish cooking so I'm having to use my old skillet but it's okay. Good thing we kept it. I was actually going to get rid of it. And then Caleb's like, I know you ain't going to get rid of those pants. Frugal, you guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> but he would not let me get rid of them. So they're still here. Taking up space in my cabinet. But, you know, I guess it's a good thing because came in handy for this. All right, you guys, so the noodles are done on this one, so I'm just gonna add some cheese to the top of it and then cover it back up so the cheese will melt and then this one will be done. It smells super good and I tried a noodle and y'all, I think this is another hit. I think I might just use this whole bag of cheese on this one. I've got three bags of cheese, so the kids like it really cheesy, but whole bag of cheese. Oh, two cups. So yeah, it, it called for two two cups of cheese, I believe. So you'll need two bags if you make it the same amount as I am. <sighs> I'm gonna cover my my bent pan. Hello, all right, so I'm gonna set the timer for another 15 minutes and then I am going to clean my mess up because that's almost done, so. Chissy, yeah. you like it? Yes, yeah, good. What do you rate it, Wyatt? One through ten. Mom, I would call mm -hmm. it a beast. Six out of ten. Do you like it? 
Okay. You don't like it, Susan? <laughs> Susan <laughs> she looks like Winnie the Pooh. Is it good, Susie? Can you taste the garlic in it? Uh-uh. Mm. I only put about a tablespoon in there. It's so good. Can you see my mind? Not really. Not a whole lot. Hey, I think it's a I love this. I think this is right. But I 